We're now going to take a look at comparison operators in PHP and again a very basic overview of comparison operators and uh, comparison operators that are most used. We've already looked at uh, equals and identical so we're checking uh, if something is equal i.e. zero does equal false but zero uh, with an identical uh, operator, uh, identical comparison operator will not equal false because zero and false are both different values so zero and false have different um, data types so this is an integer this is a boolean so therefore using the three uh, equal signs so the um, the identical comparison operator this will not uh, evaluate to true but what we're going to do now is just look at a couple so greater than less than equal to uh, things that we'd find in other languages so there's not really much to talk about here uh, but let's go ahead and uh, apply a name here and we'll also include an age and this will be an integer so what we're going to do now is we're just going to look at them basically list top down and uh, and see what they do so in this case I'm going to say is name equal to Alex uh, in this case we'll just echo out true so obviously this is going to be true so we will see the value true output in our browser um, we can also use the identical check to check if this is an identical match so for example um, does this equal Alex and is it a string as well um, if we were to do something like if age equals 24 with a double equals now this looks a little strange because what we've got here is we've got an integer here then a string here and but this does actually uh, evaluate to true because we're not using type checking and this is identical to this so uh, not identical so this is equal to this so when we refresh we get the value true back so this is one of the things you need to be really really careful with because when you are making a comparison between two or more variables you actually need to be really careful with type checking if type checking is absolutely necessary uh, then you need to go ahead and include it it's often best practice to always use identical just simply because um, if something slips up you could make a terrible mistake based on the fact that you didn't want uh, an expression to evaluate to true now we can also use not equal um, oh in actual fact let's just demonstrate this with a comparison operator and we'll also include the ability to output false as well and uh, when we refresh here we obviously see false because um, this doesn't actually equal or it's not identical to it however if we were to change this to an integer then uh, of course when we refresh it's true we could of course as well uh, say something like age equals string 24 which we wouldn't usually see but it just demonstrates that this is now truthy because uh, we've typecast this to a string anyway let's go ahead and take a look at something like not equal and basically all this does is it will check if it's not equal to it so let's take a guess at what this might be we've got an integer here we're checking if this is not equal so when we go ahead and refresh we see that we get a false value back and the reason for this is the fact that we're checking if age which is a uh, an integer doesn't equal 24 in this case it says false um, if we were to use type checking again um, we would see that this is true simply because it's a string and this is an integer and we're using type checking so we also have things like greater than and less than um, so let's go ahead and work with the age in this case again we'll just say if age is greater than 30 um, then we want to go ahead and say true this is false because the age is 24 if we were to set the age to 50 we would see the value true now what we can also do is check if it's greater than or equal to so we can say greater than and just use an equal sign so greater than or equal to 30 so in this case if I was to say 30 we will see true whereas if we were using just greater than 30 unfortunately isn't equal to 30 it's uh, the same value so in this case with taking the equal sign away we don't get the same result and of course we can also use the less than or equal to as well so we also have different caveats like uh, we've already looked at not equal but we can also use this as not equal as well um, and this is uh, this is basically exactly the same so it, it works in exactly the same way so if um, if age which is 30 is not equal to 30 so is 30 equal to 30 it is so we get false here because uh, uh, we, you know this evaluates to to false 
Um, we can also say 31 now. These don't evaluate to each, uh, this doesn't evaluate to true, so we will see uh, true here. And I guess um, this is one of the things that when you explain it, it you know it seems very uh, very basic and silly. But in actual fact, what's going on here is that this is functionality that you'd use without any through any application basically um, and uh, and it's you know it's one of them things that you just get used to but definitely with type checking it's important to understand that when you are working with data type checking will be extremely useful um, just to avoid any slips along the way